We came into Saturday night with four undefeated teams left. We finished the night with just two. Welcome to NBA Game Time, presented by State Farm. Chris Miles here with the brains of this operation, David Griffin. What? And what? the seven-footer, Brendan Hayward. Why can't I be the brains and the seven-footer? Well, you know, just uh, IQ levels. There's levels to everything, okay, Brendan? Well, what are you saying? I'm There's saying, a reason I won't play you in chess. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, you're, you're at another level. <laughs> this too is true. He don't want to play me either. I, I'm going to play you as soon as we're done with this show. How about that? Oh, well, I like that. Well, if I told you guys <laughs> that before the season started that three of the four remaining undefeated teams were in the East, would you have believed me? Definitely wouldn't have, but hey, that's the, that's the wacky world that we live in. Yeah. I, I actually want to know, are we going to make it so that all of the best teams get in the playoffs now? Because obviously the Eastern Conference has a huge advantage. I mean, it's the worm's already turned, no? No way, no way you really believe that, Griff. No, I, I don't. We called you the brains of the show. We're going to take it back. <laughs> I don't we're really we're going to have to take that back. All right, let's, we'll get to more of the Unbeans a little bit later. Let's go into the Lakers and the Spurs. LeBron James, uh, his team's certainly not undefeated, but trying to win a third straight. Come on, man. Just yeah. He's clowning out there now. Is he playing in the park or is it's, he playing in the real game? the king's court he can do what he want to do oh and it's always lance's court he'll make you dance you got his guitar <laughs> on tonight man, I, uh, man. Oh, 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 is my favorite, man. Lance is, I, I love when lance scores man lance no is my sweat for him. Watch. but there is sweat he's wiping off sweat acting like it's no sweat demar DeRozan. Ooh. hey now that's You're no, a perennial all-star, my friend. No sweat for him either, making this look easy. Come get some, Coos. Now, you notice who was guarding him, Josh Hart. More on that a little bit later. Let's move to the second half. It's LeBron James. Uh, this is where he's gotten be so much better. This is the evolution of his game. He is now a guy that can consistently make shots from all over the court. Past Dirk Nowitzki on the all-time scoring list, moving to sixth all-time. Then Rudy Gay. It's Powell Gasol. Oh, Powell getting it done for the We're going to count that as a pass, right? Off the glass? No, nah, we're not counting that for a pass. I, I'm impressed that Powell was able to get up and dunk with authority like that. Oh, don't bite on the ball fake. How many times has he done that to people? Offensive rebounding, very important for the San Antonio Spurs. You saw Gasol with one, then DeMar DeRozan with another one. Mm. The Nets, Rudy Gay working inside in the Spurs, up eight with a minute and a half to go, but don't count the Lakers out just yet. LeBron. They're, they're, they're never out of it when they got that guy. Then LeBron uh, assisting to Josh Hart from outside. Bang, bang. We got a one-point game. One of 13 triples. Lakers are going to win a lot of games if they can make that many threes. DeMar DeRozan with the clutch basket, and then this happens. Back on Monday, LeBron James sending the game to OT, just walking up. Ice cold water in his veins. Of course, they, they lost that one, by the way, fellas. So LeBron James, can we get an encore performance? Rondo looking like JR, oh. looking like JR Smith. He What's going on there? Going the wrong way, baby. And then LeBron forced to put a tough shot up. No bueno. But wait, this game's still not over, fellas. Josh Hart fighting for the offensive rebound. Gets to the free throw line, misses the second one, and then LeBron James catches an elbow to the throat. Just a, a wacky finish here. He does take the elbow, and it's a legit shot, but LeBron's always got a little bit of gamesmanship to him. Very rare that you see him actually get hurt by anything unless he wants to draw attention to it. Well, after the game, LeBron James sounded like he was, he was feeling pretty good, uh, again, after shooting 13 to 21 from the field. I mean, it's, it's enabled for us to, to continue to grow, continue to get better. Uh, you use these experiences, um, you know, for the better. And um, I think we played very, very well tonight besides that, that four or five minute, you know, point in the third quarter. Uh, where we just offensively stalled and defensively wasn't in tune. Um, but other than that, we played some really good basketball all the way down to the last possession. Uh, they scored, I think, 46 in the second half and 18 in the fourth quarter. And, you know, that's... That sort of thing is what we're used to. Uh, and that's really the first time this year that we've done that. But if that can become a habit, you have a good opportunity to win a lot of games. Uh, you know, we're not there yet. We're not going to be consistent at that right now. But we did do it tonight in the second half, and, and that was great. And we went down by 10 or 12, maybe three times. Uh, they just kept playing. So, uh, you know, communication is getting better. It's, it's going to be a process, but uh, they're on the right track. And, 
trying to uh, learn how to play with each other. Pop, you win number 1,200 in your career. Any other, any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> so we see greatness from the Lakers and LeBron James, and we also see greatness in the Spurs from Greg Popovich. 1,200 career wins now, fifth all-time on the uh, wins list for head coaches in the NBA. And he's having fun with reporters. He's having fun with it, but not necessarily for the reporters. Just a, a great night for Pop. A perfect 1,200th win night. They have to do it in a gritty fashion. They have to get a little grimy. They're only 3 of 16 from 3. They weren't shooting the ball terribly well for stretches. Had to do it on the offensive glass. And again, he spoke to that 18-point defensive fourth quarter. Again, he's going to take a lot of pride in that, and that's the way he'd want to get this win. Oh, yeah. Pop, one of the best coaches of all time, and those 1,200 wins speak to that. Yeah, and you can see even when he's getting out of DeMar DeRozan, 30 points, 8 assists, DeMar averaging career high. Eight assists on the season. Hey, it was a Saturday night full of the undefeated, the resurgent Pistons, and the surprising Pelicans also.